Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we are back in Lumber Tycoon 2. Hello! <clears throat> oh, goodness. I just, like, almost choked myself out there. Okay, so, um, so I've been doing the doors, and I've been trying to get things to work. It's just not working correctly, so, oh, gosh, hold on. My things are switched there. Mm, like my new outfit? I love your new outfit, dude. I got to see it a second ago. It was pretty sweet looking. Um... Uh, I was loading there. Anyone else remember the red line? <laughs> you guys don't have to stand behind the red line. I mean, it, it is okay, so. <laughs> Anyhow, I've been working on the doors. Still stuck, and I've been working on a new thing. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Uh, these doors, the, the palm wood, like, if you look, <clears throat> it is now like a unit off the ground. So I don't know what happened there. But hopefully it, it'll still be fine because it'll get you over to Palm. So Palm is still good. Squeaky chair. And let's go this direction. Uh, I wanted to build up inside here a little bit more tonight. Get some more objects and things going. Oh my gosh, the meshes are messed up. Look, the mesh, Defaultio, the mesh. It's, it's meshed up. Get it? Mesh? Never mind. So that's the coal. That's the... Those are the, the pumpkin heads. Crazy. All right, let's move this out of here. Move large floor. We're going to move you right over here. We're going to use you to, later. Okay. <clears throat> like he always does. Behind the line, like he always does. Uh, you guys, you can, you can come in if you like. I'm inside my museum. Museum, M museum. I'm inside my house. House. This is gonna be my house. So I need to put up some decorations and some things. What was that? Oh, connect your device via USB. It may improve the connection. I don't want to connect it to USB. I want it to stay right where it's at. So it was awesomeness like that. Okay. Um. Let's see. I want stairs. We definitely need stairs up to a second floor, but. I also want to build the third, or sorry, the fourth thing. So let's go get cherry wood and we'll put up these posts real quick. Cherry wood in the park. I think it was the 4th of July. Thank you, whoever dropped off the uh, awesome pink truck. I'm going to use it in my episode. So, and there are so many people. Uh, oh, are you coming with? Who's, who's riding with me? Who's riding with me? Who's riding with me? Me! <laughs> Good job, Creeper. Uh, is it Party Creep? Crazy Party Creep. Crazy Party Creep, riding in the car. Are you recording yet? Uh, yes, yes. We have been for a bit. So he's probably going to shout out his channel, I think. Maybe. Anyhow. <laughs> he's like, yay! We're recording. Hi, YouTube! <laughs> Hello everyone in the YouTube Wondrous Land. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for hanging out. And let's cut down a cherry tree. Just like good old George Washington. Well, technically, that's, that's uh, one of those stories that he said. Um, anyhow, choppy chop chop. Chopping everything down. Oh, ooh, excuse me. Where, where's that thing again? It's, it's, like, it's like a burp, but it's not really a burp. Yeah, have you ever had that happen to you before? Have you ever been, like, talking, burped and hicked up and sneezed all at the same time? Those are crazy. Those, like, th those hurt so bad. Dude, 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 careful, careful. There, oh my goodness, the glitch. The glitch is with us tonight. Where is he? Ugh, stop talking, glitch. What? I'm not the glitch. Yeah, you're the glitch. Oh, I guess I am. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to glitch you out. Here you go. Oh, no, not the glitch again. All right, there we go. The glitch, the invisible man who pushes the things around and throws you across the map. Oh, no, 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 no. I just chopped that in the wrong spot. That's okay. Well, oh, no, I chopped another one in the wrong spot. This is the one I want. There you go. So I wanted to chop it right there at the base because we're all about that base. No trouble. 
Choppy chop 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 chop. Oh, to everyone who shouted in my comments, where's lumber? I am sorry. I just, I didn't post one yesterday. Like, time ran out, I didn't have enough time. Whatever excuse you want to come up with, I just, I didn't post one. And I'm sorry, because you guys responded. There was, like, hardly any response to, um, what was it? It was, uh, what did I play yesterday? Pokemon Brick Bronze. I, I had very little response on Pokemon Brick Bronze. I was surprised. Very, very surprised, actually. So, I apologize. I will do lumber. And I will try and keep that in my repertoire. In my schedule. In my itinerary. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, uh, is crazy, crazy, are you putting wood in? Uh, are you putting wood into the truck? Yes, he is. Okay. White list me, please. And I will do the same. Oh, he's, he's already white listed me. He's ahead of the game. Look at that. Good deal. There you go. So if you guys don't know who Crazy Party Creep is, he's appeared a couple times in my past videos. Uh, he does YouTube himself, so if you haven't seen it, go check out his channel. Same goes for anybody that's ever in any of my videos, even if we're not playing together or collabing. If you feel like you want to like shout out your channel, you go for it. Like I'm, I'm not going to stop it. As long as you're not just doing it the whole time. That's really annoying. Um, the only time that I really mind is when you're doing it on live streams. That's snipering. I don't like snipers. The ones that like leave comments, don't really care about the content or anything else. All they do is they're like, go subscribe to my channel, sub for sub. Uh, don't pay attention to Code Primate. Sub to me, please. That was, oh, that's annoying. And I know it's annoying because I did it whenever I was a little YouTuber. <laughs> I didn't realize that it was annoying the way it is, but I mean, it really happens all the time. All the time. So I should be used to it by now, but... I still see it, and I'm like, ah, oh, really? Okay, uh, do we need the little pieces? Uh, do, we'll, we'll take them. Might as well. No, no, we don't. Uh, leave, leave the little pieces. Here, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Leave the... No, no. Stop, stop, stop. Leave the little pieces. Come here, you. Let's restack that. Leave the little pieces. Um... Drop that down. That's a that's a little piece. There you go. Get these get these big ones. These these nice pieces here. Get those. Why is this not chopping? Oh wow. The lag is real tonight. Like I I say the lag is real sometimes, but this is it's got some lagginess to it. Lag monster, Mr. Lag Machine. Oh, that would be a cool DJ name. Mr. Lag Machine! It'd be like a lag. Like the, the drop of the beat. Mr. Lag Machine. Party! Sorry. Alright, let's go, 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 go. This is not chopping. Why is it not chopping? Come on, chop it, please. We were chopping broccoli. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. The truck is almost full. I see it as uh, half empty. Is the truck half empty or half full? What, what kind of psychology is this? I see the truck as being half full. I just have to spam E because I don't know which parts and pieces are his. Uh, not when we're both whitelisted like that. Okay. I think I think we've got enough to build what I was intending on. Is that his piece right there? Boom, done. And that's that's good. Let's hop in. Alright, nice and easy. Here we go. Oh that pink truck looks so good. Look at that cherry wood in there. Oh, this is awesome. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Robinator 26. How are you doing this evening, sir, ma'am? 
Robloxians. We are Robloxians. We are Lumberlanders. Oh no! That's okay. It was a little one. It was a little one. Welcome back, Tom. Wait, Tom's here? It looks like Ender Steve. Oh no, 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 slow down. Ooh, that was close. Alright, let's plank this stuff out. I'm just going to rock this up right here like this. Let it roll back. It is an honor to be in Code's truck. Aww. Thanks, little dude. I can say little dude. I'm like that old man of Roblox. And I'm proud of it. By the way, my kids. Oh. Hope, if you're watching this video, remind me. I need to play with you. To, like, tonight. Whatever day you're watching this on. Say, Dad, let's go play Roblox. And let's go just play. Whatever we're doing. Even if we're out, like, at the skating rink. Or the zoo. Or something. Just remind me and let's do this. Oh, did you see that lag? That was some awesomeness. Oh no, why does he have to reset? Go tell me if you're experiencing lag. Yes, I am experiencing some major, major lag. <clears throat> yes, tis laggy. Tis laggy. Tis it nobler in the lag to express oneself. Okay, hold on. Do I have a hatch? Oops. I think I have a hatch somewhere. Somewhere my hatch will come. Do I have a hatch? Ah, I do. Yay. Let's just move this on over. I'm going to stick this on top of that one. That way the uh, lag monster doesn't get the wood. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check this out. We just stick this, uh, turn, turn, right on top. We need to go one unit away from the edge. So right there. I think that's proper. Hit it. So now, when stuff goes in, it'll get stuck right there and then start generating on the opposite side. So it can't go all the way through and get lagged out. Oh my goodness, dude. Yes! We got the cherry wood for days. That is awesome. Okay. So this should work. Let's see. It'll stop it. There it goes. Oh no, it's it's too close. Is it too close? Oh no, it started generating right through it. <gasps> Thank you! Thank you, Ash Kid! Ash Kid 74 and I'm so sorry. I put Ash Kid 76 inside the title and everybody was like screaming at me going, "It's the wrong name. Code, you messed up." I misspell things all the time. I'm so sorry. I did not pay attention to detail. That was my fault. Thank you. Thank you, Code. Uh, do you want me to put the cherry wood through the sawmill? Yes, please. Thank you so much. <laughs> Robinator says it's for you. Robinator says it's so cool to be in the server with you. Hanging out, having fun, being positive to everyone. Positivity, that's what we like to motivate. I love to encourage people, and I love to encourage young people. Like, follow your dreams and do what you want and like that doesn't go that doesn't mean go out there and be mean just because you feel like it that means express yourself if you want to become an artist if you want to draw and you have people who are telling you oh you're not a good drawler don't listen to them draw more practice get better if you have a specific style that you like to sing in or write in or make music in go do that and ignore the hate i know a lot of people are like dab on the haters don't dab on the haters haters are are they're they're not hating because they're mad because anger is a secondary emotion i've said this before Emo emotions are there's a, like very primary emotions that happen. Everything else is a secondary emotion to 
an original emotion. So there's frustration, there's um, envy, there is jealousy. All these things can lead to the anger. There is um, hurt, but none of it is starts as anger. You don't just get angry because of something. And if you if you feel like you're just getting angry for no reason, talk to somebody and talk to a mom, talk to a dad. If you're if you're a parent and you're just getting angrier and angrier at your kids, think stop think why is it because you're tired is it because of hunger is it because because i get hangry i'll realize like i'll snap off at one of my kids and be like why are you being so loud and then i'll realize like oh wait they're my kids of course they're going to be loud and i'll realize that i didn't have lunch or i had skip something and that is my ADHD like I will completely skip right through a lunch I'll make the kids lunch or the wife will make the kids lunch and I will completely forget to eat myself like that's something that just happens sometimes and I'm I've learned to deal with it by keeping snacks around something real quick that I can get my blood sugar back up with because the hanger the hang hanger like hangry that's where you are hungry and it causes you to be frustrated short fused and tired and it happens so <laughs> now kids next time your mom or dad like gets angry if don't go like are you hungry <laughs> i could just imagine go prime i said you need to eat this quick <laughs> wait what no that's not what i meant uh, that's out of context never mind kid <laughs> Have parents all angry at me now. Ah. By the way, if you are a school teacher or if you are a um, school administrator of some kind, be sure you know, like, be sure that you're trained in what ADHD is. And I don't mean, yeah, you read a manual and everything else. I'm talking actual ADHD children and sensory disorders because the way I see it. If somebody was in a special needs class, say they had a handicap or a disability, and you wrote them up because of something that is a result of their disability, then I don't think that's correct. I don't think you should do that at all. So when you know that you have a child that has special needs, don't be so quick to write up. The understanding of what it is is happening and understand that like whenever I was in school um, I had a teacher who put my name on the board and I could have cared less I okay my name's on a board what does that affect well I didn't realize like consequence and effect of what my actions were doing caused her to put my name on the board and everything else Anyhow, that led to me looking like a troublemaker. Out of all the other classes that um, I was in, out of all the other teachers that I've ever had, this one teacher seemed to think that I was a bad kid. And it was because they didn't understand what the ADHD was. And all the other teachers, like they had been through training classes and they had like seen my file. And it was, it was pretty simple. But this one teacher just thought I needed to straighten up. And it's, it wasn't that I couldn't help it. It was that I have ADHD. So if I'm blurting out in class or if I was talking too much or if something was happening, she just thought I was a bad kid. And I'm like, that's not true. I was actually a really good kid. Uh-oh, what happened? What in the world? <laughs> I just sat down in an invisible chair. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, let's go turn, turn, right there. And by the way, if you have ADHD, I feel for you, all right? I know what it's like, and I know how quickly we can get distracted sometimes. Um, the best thing I can tell you is learn when the ADHD is taking over. Learn when, when you're getting distracted, when that thing starts happening where you are reading a, a book, 
or you're reading the page of a book and you'll go through the entire page but you're not really interested in the story and all of a sudden you're down at the end of the page read the whole thing and don't remember anything that happened in it so you have to go back and read it a second time and you try and tell your brain you're like concentrate you're you're going to pay attention this time and it just doesn't happen recognize when that's happening stand up take a break go to the bathroom come back to it all right because it will happen and it will happen, it's not like they're gonna give you some miracle pill that's going to correct it. There is no pill in the world that will fix your ADHD. Um, same thing goes with autism, it goes with Down syndrome, it goes with, there's, there's no fix, okay? That's not something that we can correct, it's just part of who we are. And I think it's really important to make make people understand like this isn't something that's going away it's not something that you can ignore it's something that happens to a lot of us so hashtag HD, uh, ADHD for the win down below <laughs> oh my goodness we've got a lot of wood I need to start processing it into some blueprints uh, got kind of off on a tangent there but that's okay I am a strong supporter of ADHD kids and uh, autism and Asperger's and anyone that has um, mental disabilities. Um, I don't want to consider ADHD a disability. I, in fact, consider it very much a superpower because I think it makes us think faster than normal human beings. We just think so fast that we can't process certain things. That's why we misspell things. That's why we misspeak. That's why we mispronunciate. But it also makes us very creative and very fun. So, uh, how much time are we at? I just, I totally got lost in my ADHD. Look at that. We're at 22 minutes. I'm still going. That is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, by the way, don't use it as a crutch. Don't be like, oh man, I'm late to class because I'm an ADHD. No, that was controllable. Like, you, you knew you were getting distracted. I can, I can honestly say that this is the first time in my life that um, when I show up 5 to 10 minutes late to work, or when I show up 5 to 10 minutes early, I can honestly look at myself in the mirror and say, yeah, that was my fault because I was watching a video, I was paying attention to something else, or yeah, I was really awake that morning and... It just, I happen to get to work faster. And it's its a good variation on times. We're never time anywhere. Uh, well, okay, I'll take that back. Whenever it's just me that has to go somewhere or whenever it's my wife that just has to go somewhere, we're on time. We're pretty good. But when it's the whole family has to be somewhere at a certain time, mm -mm, we ain't never getting out the door. You Like if you have a family get together that's at 12, you better tell us 10. <laughs> and yeah and that's that's how you to tell your family how to cope with uh, an ADHD family <laughs> my uh, my wife loves every single one of us and she deserves all of our love she is so good with us <sighs> okay I think we're good. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Let's make some post. Two. Post. Other. Post. Post. Post haste. One, two, three, four. We're going to need four posts to go across. This, this is just measuring. So I'm also going to need probably just one more wall. One wall. Uh, let's go two. We're going to do the wall. Smooth wall. Done. Like that. Just do one. And this is just for the moment so I can get the measurements out there. Alright, throw that in there. Throw that in there. Oh, those are going through really quick. Nice. Come on, come on. There we go. Now I need a big one for the door. That is 85%. Get a little one here. Done and done. Okay. So let's move this. We need to go rotate turn. Uh, turn, turn, 
turn and rotate. There we go. And we're going to smash it up against that wall like that. Now we can place this other one. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to take the floor. Silly goose. Here. Grab this one. This is a really good episode, actually. Um, I might have gotten off on a little bit of a tangent about ADHD, but for the most part... Oh, did I build the wrong wall? <gasps> no. I think this is the right one. Hold on. Let's go look here. I did! I built the wrong one. Or... I built the right one, and we can put um, pumpkins in the next one. I did, I did. Awesome. Okay. So, let's do um, rotate, turn, rotate. Just like that. In this last case, we're actually going to put the pumpkins. I'm going to have to move this truck. It's amazing the way that it got stuck and everything. I think it looks kind of like the uh, those old cars from like the 50s from like a hard rock cafe and stuff like that, but we're gonna have to take it down. So let's go uh, rotate, turn, rotate. There we go, right there. And right here. There we are. And then that'll be the last wall right there. And we're one unit off. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That is that is really cool. Okay, so we'll put a normal glass here, and we'll do the, uh, we've done all the axes, right? All the axes are done, so we just need like coal and turkey and uh, all the little items on this side. Then we can start building up on that side, and we've got tons of wood for it. Oh no, what happened? Oh no. No! No, we lost connection to the game. So this is the thing that I was talking about that seems to be happening more and more at nighttime. I seem to be getting disconnected, but we're at 27 minutes, so that's that was a good episode. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as we talk about ADHD and emotions, and oh my goodness, that was, that was pretty intense. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Love you guys very much. It is your choice, okay? That's just the call-out that I have to do at the end of the video. Uh, I've, I've never pressured you guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you want to. I love you guys very much. Uh, if you like one of those shirts, check out the Hello Juniper link in the description below. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. No, outro. No, outro. I, no, the... Yes! Thank you.